Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you're not, thanks for clicking. Um, today we are going to be talking about Rain the Earth by AC Galgan. Um, I hope I said that right. I'm not really sure, but that's how I've heard other people say it. So we're gonna go with that. Um, so this is a book all about a girl who is pushed into an arranged marriage in order to bring peace and prosperity to her people. The man who she is supposed to marry is way older than her um, and he is the king of a kingdom that has been her kingdom's aggressor for a really long time and so she's hoping that by marrying him that she can bring peace. Um, little does she know that she has powers. She is what's called an elemente and she can control rocks. And she doesn't find this out until after she gets married. And that wouldn't really be a problem, except for 10 years ago, her husband committed a genocide against people who had magic. And so now that she's married and she's in this foreign kingdom, away from her family, away from all her friends, she has to figure out how to navigate not only being married and being such a in such a political position, but she also has to navigate having these powers. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good book. I read it pretty quick. Um, it was really entertaining, I will say, um, but overall I think I gave it a three and a half out of five stars. Um, but in order to kind of get into the meat of what I want to talk about, um, I'm gonna have to get into a lot of spoilers. So if you haven't read this book and you care about spoilers, I would go ahead and just click off this video right now. Um, if you haven't read it and you don't care about spoilers, feel free to stay, or if you have read it, feel free to stay and let me know if you agree with the things that I'm gonna say about this book. Um, so last chance, spoilers ahead, click off. So this book really kind of delves into a lot of really adult topics. So Shalia is 17 and she's having to deal with all of the things that come with an arranged marriage, consummating it, trying to have children, trying to come to love her husband, who is 10 years older than her. And those are pretty heavy topics for a young adult novel. And so I, there were moments that I really felt that, that I really was able to feel that heaviness. But then there were moments where I felt like it was skipped over and I felt like the story wasn't as powerful or I wasn't able to suspend my disbelief for those portions because it tried to skip over some aspect of an arranged marriage that just didn't really seem very realistic to me. Um, the main thing that I want to talk about though is the abuse that happens in this novel. Um, Shalia is physically abused by Calix, her husband, and in several instances we get physical abuse that really kind of just comes out of nowhere but then we also get a lot of emotional abuse from Calix towards Shalia and I haven't seen any trigger warnings for that sort of thing with this book and I thought that was so weird because it was so blatant and it felt so real it felt like something that an abuser the things that Calix was doing to her were things that real abusers would do and so I felt like that would be really really triggering for people who had suffered that and suffered through that and survived that and I just I think it's really interesting that nobody's talking about it because they're at, after he hits her Calix physically hits her once in the book and he's very apologetic for it and he like makes he like has all these flowers and like tries to make like these big grand gestures to like make it up to her and she's like no 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 I don't I can't like don't touch me like I can't be around you right now and then that's kind of it like she never at any point forgives him for it definitely not but there's not a whole ton said outside of this is a thing that happened and I thought that was really interesting and then there was also, like I said, like there's a lot of the emotional abuse that goes on that it's never really 
discussed it's never really talked about the way that he manipulates her and the way that he the way that he says things and blames things on her when they're not her fault they ha she has no control over these things that are happening but he's blaming them on her and just really abusing her in that way too and that's not something that anybody really ever objects to when he physically hits her there's an uproar galen and danae the sister they all and shalia's own brothers they all kind of go up in arms and they're so you could never hit a woman but nobody ever says anything about the emotional abuse aspects those are kind of the things that just slide under the radar in this book and i think that that's really dangerous that's something that's really dangerous to have in this book because you don't really we don't really get to see Calix as sort of the villain character until he does this until he hits her until this whole other time she's shot in Shalia's mind she's I I can grow to love him he's my husband I can grow to love my husband and we never get to see her question the things that he's doing the things that he's making her think and I just, I, I find it really hard to grapple with those things in this story because they're such an integral part of who this character is. And I think, I think as a reader, we're supposed to acknowledge those things, but there are people who will read this who will not be able to see those signs, who will not know. And they'll think, oh, he's so romantic. Oh, he is doing this for her. He's doing this for her and he says he loves her and all this stuff when in actuality he's being abusive and there's no outright mention of that and I just think it's really dangerous and it could potentially harm especially a lot of younger readers who might pick this up um, and give it a shot. Um, I definitely think there should be more trigger warnings about this book especially for abuse and I think there should be I think we as a community should talk about this more because I know we love we love to talk about the good things in books and I did really enjoy this book I thought I really enjoyed the dialogue I thought the dialogue was really amazing and just it just it really flowed and it felt really real and I loved the plot and I thought the world building and the magic was super cool I love the way that the magic didn't die I love that magic was like its own character in a way that it was sort of sentient and then it jumped from one user to another when this terrible awful thing happened and I loved that message too I loved that even in the face of a travesty like a genocide that Calix couldn't kill the magic he couldn't destroy the thing that he hated about these people and I just thought that was a really strong message and I really enjoyed that I thought that was a really really well done part of this book but I think we as a community, I think, could do a better job of calling out these things and not calling them out in a horrible way that is demeaning to the author in any sort of way. Because I know that that's sort of the way that this community operates is that we either we love or we hate and there's no really in between. We don't in this community, people don't really offer anything constructive. Um, and I by no means am trying to demean the author. I just, I think that there are things in this book that could seriously harm people. And it's still a book that deserves to be read and it's a story that deserves to be told, especially because of the elements about genocide and about hatred in this book. But I think it needs to be done carefully. And I think that people should be fully aware of these things when they're walking into it. Reading should never be a bad experience, but I think if you walk into something not knowing that you could potentially be triggered by it, I think that can really turn a lot of people off of reading and make it a really negative experience, which nobody should have. Reading is fun. We all love it, and that's why we're here. But I guess that's just my... Those are my quick and dirty thoughts about Rain the Earth. Um, I really just wanted to make this video to just kind of say that. Um, that it's real it's been a few days since I finished it and it's really just been tugging at my mind um for the last few days and I just thought that it was an important topic that we should discuss in the community so 
that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, maybe check out some of my other videos. Until next time, bye! When we were younger, we thought everyone was on our side. Then we grew a little and romanticized the time I saw flowers in your hair. It takes a boy to live, it takes a man to pretend he was there.